In the age of smartphones, where the world fits neatly into our pockets, few of us stop to consider the invisible infrastructure that makes this connectivity possible. The rise of the smartphone revolution has undeniably transformed the way we live, work and communicate. However, hidden beneath the sleek screens and lightning fast data transfers lies a grim reality, one that involves lives lost in the pursuit of seamless connectivity. This is the untold story of the cell tower deaths, where the ascent to new heights comes with a profound human cost. As the demand for faster and more extensive cellular coverage surged, the need for cell tower installation and maintenance skyrocketed. Tower climbers, the unsung heroes of this technological era, embarked on a perilous journey to scale heights that most of us would shudder at the thought of. These skilled technicians, often independent contractors, have played a critical role in ensuring that our smartphones never miss a beat. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe, as I post interesting content daily that you don't want to miss. Let's go! Ascending hundreds or sometimes over a thousand feet, these tower climbers undertake a job that combines technical prowess with an unwavering sense of adventure. The view from such heights is all inspiring, but it is also where the hidden cost of the smartphone revolution becomes painfully apparent. Over the past decade, nearly a hundred climbers have lost their lives on radio, TV and cell towers, a mortality rate that stands at about 10 times the average for construction workers. The statistics surrounding cell tower deaths paint a stark picture of the dangers faced by those who ensure our phones stay connected. According to industry reports, falls from heights account for the majority of fatalities, with equipment malfunctions and adverse weather conditions also contributing to the risks. The alarming rise in these fatalities raises questions about the safety protocols in place and the broader impact on the lives of the individuals who dedicate themselves to building and maintaining our cellular infrastructure. Independent contractors, often hired for their specialized skills in tower climbing, find themselves navigating a precarious landscape. While the demand for their services has soared, the risks involved in their work have intensified. The pressure to complete installation swiftly, coupled with the need for constant technological upgrades, placed as an immense burden on these contractors. As we revel in the conveniences brought about by the smartphone revolution, it is crucial to acknowledge the human cost paid by those who make it all possible. The families left behind by the fallen climbers grapple with the harsh reality that their loved ones were the backbone of an industry that seems to overlook their sacrifices. The emotional toll on these families is immeasurable, raising questions about the ethical implications of our insatiable demand for connectivity. In response to the rising concerns surrounding cell tower deaths, the industry has implemented safety measures and guidelines to mitigate the risks. However, the effectiveness of these measures remains a subject of debate. Critics argue that the pressure to meet tight deadlines often leads to shortcuts and safety procedures, putting climbers at unnecessary risks. Striking a balance between the need for efficiency and the imperative of safety is an ongoing challenge that the industry must confront. As technology continues to advance, there is a growing exploration of remote maintenance solutions that could potentially reduce the need for climbers to ascend treacherous heights. Drones and robotics are being considered as alternatives, allowing for safer inspections and repairs. With these innovations hold promise, they also raise concerns about job displacement in an industry that has relied heavily on skilled climbers. The rising toll of cell tower deaths demands increased accountability from telecommunications companies, regulatory bodies and the broader industry. A re-evaluation of safety standards, stringent enforcement of regulation and a commitment to prioritizing human lives over rapid expansion are crucial steps towards rectifying the current imbalance. The smartphone revolution has reshaped our world in remarkable ways, but it has come at a considerable human cost. The climbers, scaling dizzying heights to keep us connected, are more than mere technicians. They are individuals with families, dreams and aspirations. It is our collective responsibility to demand an industry that values their lives as much as it values technological advancements. By advocating for safety, supporting affecting families and demanding transparency and accountability from telecommunications companies, we can contribute to a shift in the industry's priorities. The smartphone revolution should not be synonymous with tragedy, rather it should stand as a testament to human ingenuity and progress that prioritizes the well-being of all those involved. As we continue to enjoy the benefits of seamless connectivity, let us not forget the silent heroes who make it possible, the climbers in the shadows. Their sacrifices should not be hidden beneath the sleek surfaces of our smartphones, but be brought about the light of public consciousness. Only through collective action and a genuine commitment to change can we ensure that the price of connectivity is one we are morally willing to pay. In the pursuit of unprecedented connectivity, the smartphone revolution has cast a shadow on the lives of those who operate in the heights, ensuring our devices stay seamlessly connected. The tragic toll of cell tower deaths is a poignant reminder that progress should not come at the expense of human lives. 
As we revel in the marvels of technology, it is incumbent upon us to recognize the sacrifices made by the climbers in the shadows and to demand an industry that values both innovation and the well-being of its workforce. Only then can we truly claim that the cost of connectivity is one that we, as a society, are willing to bear. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.